all your muffler needs, visit Seaberg Mufflers, located at 1829 Burlington in North Kansas City, Missouri. Seaberg Mufflers has been a family-owned business for 43 years and offers the lowest prices in town. Seaberg Muffler offers a lifetime warranty starting at $35. The next time you need a muffler, call Seaberg Muffler at 816-471-4190. I am Metro. I'm Metro too. I'm fast. And I'm faster. And I'm smart. And I'm smarter. I'm stronger. I'm prettier. On what planet? Rhonda and Kane are fast. 4G LTE fast with Metro PCS. Now riding on the nationwide T-Mobile network. $40 period. Lights are out, green flag's going to wave, and here they come around, coming into one and two, and it's the 41, picking up right where he left off from his heat race, that's the number 41 of Chris DeShong out of Hatches in Kansas with the 33 run, that second spot, 57 and third. And a little bit of carnage coming out of there on three and four, and that's going to open up even more breathing room for the number 41 of DeShong. And we've got a driver around. That's going to be the 28 of Justin Moran out of Lawton coming into three and four. All right, yellow's going to go off. Green flag is going to come out from Paul. And here we go back to racing with your E-Mod feature. And we're going to go yellow flag. We cannot get the race underway. And we're racing with the 41 out front. That 57 running in the second spot. The 33 of Jason Morant running in third. Morant making a move on that 57 though. 33, we're going to come up from the back. And and we're going to have issues with the 73 of Bobby Grove here. If we can't get these guys to get a few laps in. Looking at the green flag racing with the 41 out front, the 57 in second. That's going to be the 33 of Morant in third, the 18 of Raymond in fourth, Smith in fifth. And 41 picking up the left off in his heat race, pulling out to a commanding lead. But the and that's going to be Wayman. Finger around, coming in one and two, so we're going to go back under yellow. the green flag. We're back on the green flag racing with the 41 out front. The 57 in second of Hamilton. Raymond in third. Nine and Smith in fourth. Deshaun running a 16-1-3-1. Hamilton running a 16-7-2-4. Smith running a 17-16-7-3-6. Coming out of one and two. And we've got more trouble coming into one and two. He's going to get going. Looking just like he did in his heat race, though, with a huge lead, and we're going to go back under yellow flag in this E mod race. Get some racing going in this E mod feature with Deshaun out front, Hamilton in second, the 98 is Smith in third, and Martin in fourth. And it looks like the 15, eight 
18 are stuck together possibly. Song out front, Hamilton in second, Brian Smith in third, and Martin in fourth, Jason Morant in fifth, Justin Morant in sixth, Earls in seventh, and Wayman in eighth. Deshaun running a 16 4 7 3. Checkered here in this E-Mod race. They can't seem to keep the wheels going forward, so it's the 41 out front who's done great this whole race. That's going to be the Chris Deshaun going to And it looks like we got a little bit of turbulence in that and in the back. The 33 is having a little bit of an issue. Checkered flag is out for the number 41 of Deshaun, and we've got a bunch of carnage over here in three and four. out. Jimmy goes out front and the 33 of Curlis is coming around the outside of him going around back and he's going to get around Jimmy. Coming into three and four he's going to go high. Jimmy go, goes going to go low with Bond running to that number third spot in the 27. But the 33 looks like he's going to make it around him. One and two, it's the 60 and the 33, Jimmy Go and Jeremy Curlis. They're going low, Curlis going high, they get a little close coming out of two. Going in the back stretch, it's the number nine and or no, the M20 running that third spot. That's Michael Mullins, Latrell's going to make it around him running in third. Whit Bond's going to move back to fifth. Curlis and Go. Curlis running a 16.709, Jimmy Go running a 16.829 out front. So not some bad laps. So it looks like Jimmy Go has met his match so far this season with Jeremy Curlis. Jeremy starting off a little bit slow as the year began, but he's slowly inched his way forward and he's caught Jimmy and he's moving ahead right now. Whit Bond continuing to move backwards in that 27. Starting to make up some time on Curlis now, though. And he's going to make the pass going down low. Curlis is going to have to switch up his lines a little bit if he's going to keep want to keep up with Jimmy. And now we got some issues coming out of three and four with Whit Bond and the number nine of Steve Luttrell. We're going to go yellow flag and get him lined back up. All right, yellow's going to go out. Paul's going to wave the green flag, and it's going to be Jimmy going out front. Curlis outside, and the... 28K going down low.
We've got a good start, but it's the 60 of Jimmy Go out front and the 20 of Mullins trying to split them. The 33J swinging around the outside and the 28K on the inside. And here comes Jerry Schmidt in that 11X. Coming into three and four. We've got a five car race here and Jeremy Curlis is gonna spin around. Yellow's gonna come out for the 33 of Jeremy Curlis. Chris Kircher, the 11X of Jerry Schmidt. Mitchell Whit Bond in the 27 and the number nine of Stephen Luttrell. Flag race and Jimmy Goh is going to have a little bit of little bit of breathing room from the 33J from Curlis as he makes an early exit. So the M20 of Michael Mullins though going to move up to that number two spot with the 28K. Cutting off Jerry Schmidt and it's going to be a full pony race here, heading into the back stretch. Coming into three and four, Jerry Schmidt going high, looking to make some momentum coming around. And look at the 20 coming on the inside of Jimmy Go. Heading into the back stretch. Jimmy Go and Michael Mullins out front though, going at it. Mullins gonna dive down to the inside underneath Jimmy. Schmidt moving up in that number three spot with the 28K running in fourth. Starting to pull it back out though here. Mullins in second. Rick Bond starting to make his way up, back up into that number five spot. Jerry Schmidt just slowly creeping back there in the number three with a 28K of Chris Kircher running in fourth. Jimmy Go running a 16367 as the right flag comes out. Mullins running a 16387. So they're going really close out there. Mullins sees that white flag come out and he's gonna be all up him trying to come back out as they head into three and four. Paul's gonna put the checkered flag out, but it looks like it's probably gonna be Jimmy Go holding on to it with Mullins coming in second, Schmidt in third, the 28K of Chris Kircher in fourth. Whit Bond gonna come around in that fifth spot. Steve Latrell coming in fifth and Martin Mitchell coming in sixth. is going to move up out front and go into 14.968. Taking over that spot from Freelot. Davis is going to be in second. Freelot in third. 
And we've got issues going into one and two. Looks like one car went off, the other's gonna come out. Flag is back out. Riley Chris around front. Mitchell Davidson second. Chad Freeland all right. falling to that number three spot. We're back in fourth. Bell in fifth. And we've got issues coming into one and two. Yellow flag is out. We're going to see what's going on over there. on the track is going to go to Riley Crystal with a 14-7-4-6 out front. Mitchell Davis dropping his down to a 14-9-4-4 though in that number two spot. Finally getting some laps and getting some rolling going on. Crusoe Davidson second. Murdoch in third, Gilbert in fourth, Bell in fourth. back up. Second, third, and fourth. Cruiser dropped his halftime down to a 14 
Her back up to a 15-4-9-2, but Chad Fura, the fast man in the track now, right now, going at a 15-1-2-4. Heading down the back straight, 93K out front, heading into three and four of the zero. Johnny Murdoch, the four off of free roll, the three, Justin Gilbert. 18 laps, only got two laps to go. Paul's going to show the right flag as they come around, one lap to go for the 93K of Treasel. Murdoch in. Record flag is out for her wide and Treasel with a crazy front stretch move there by Chad Freehold. feature for your B-Mods. Green flag flies. Answer out front, Josh, his father, coming around the outside with Brad Smith falling around. Which Josh. Stevens, Brad Smith, and Brad Smith makes a move, and Josh dives right back underneath. Brad Smith and Josh Stevens, there's no love lost there at all. These guys are going to go at it, I can guarantee you that. A little bit of heat going on in the pits just a couple of weeks ago after a controversial win with Josh Stevens coming through the pack, but Brad Smith... One way to keep them quiet is just to go out and win. But there's his son, Junior, coming in that number three spot, though, keeping that honest as well. And we've got a yellow out on the other zero nine out there, Rick Allen. Brad Smith's running a 15-9-2-3 out there, three laps down. Josh Stevens running a 16-1-0-0. Yellow light is out, green flag flies as they come around, heading into the one and two. It's both the Stevens in second with Brad Smith out front with the 17 of Galvin right behind him and the other Galvin in that zero machine. Coming to run into it's Brad Smith, Spencer Stevens getting around his dad, Josh Stevens going in the back stretch. Rod Corden in that 17 seed, Chase Galvin. Look at Spencer Stevens just staying right on Brad Smith with dad right behind him coming into three and four. Spencer coming down low, Josh coming down behind him, but Brad Smith still out front. And I'm watching and waiting, seeing who, who's taking the best line, what line is the best to take. The 22 falling back, the 13K of Kitch falling back. Brad Smith starting to pull him out just a little bit. Spencer still holding on the second, Josh in third. Gordon in fourth, Galvin in fourth. Eight laps down in your B-Mod feature. 99 of Brad Smith out front. Spencer Stevens in second, Josh Stevens in third. 17 of Gordon in fourth, Chase Galvin in fourth. Brad Smith starting to open up just a little bit. 
it's still Spencer holding off his dad for that number two spot. Alvin looking to make, make a move on the inside of Corden coming out of the one and two. The 22 and the 52 having a battle coming out of one and two. Right behind the other Galvin boy. Brad Smith still out front, both of Stevens in second. Spencer still leading that around. Brad running the 16304. Spencer running the 16259. Josh dropping it down to a 16189. And I don't think he's gonna let his baby boy stay in front of him too much longer. Looks like he's looking to make a move coming out of one and two. And as they're both keeping Brad Smith totally honest out front. 12 laps down in your B-Mod feature. The 99, the 09, the 09 SR, the 0, the 17, the 22. Fast man on the track. Fast man on the track actually is going to be Chase Galvin running in that number four spot. Running a 16.156, but here we go out front. Spencer's putting, on, putting it on him. I think it has a little bit to do with Dad running behind him, pushing him. Tight racing going to one and two. Spencer is all over Brad Smith with Josh Stevens in third. Coming into three and four. Spencer's going to cut it down. 15 laps in, Spencer's all over Brad. Dad running around the outside. Spencer may have it coming out of this corner. Spencer is all over Brad Smith right now. And his dad is right behind him, one, two, and three, coming out of three and four. You could throw a blanket over him. Here comes the 99, here comes the 09 junior, here comes the 09 senior. But Spencer is all over him coming out, looking for a line around him. And dad just pushing them both behind. Brad running a 16-3-9-2. Spencer going to 16-3-3-1. White flag is out. Something has got to happen. Spencer's got to make something happen coming into three and four. I don't think he's going to do it. He will. Oh, he drove an awesome race. Awesome race for Brad Smith. Awesome race for Spencer Stevens. Awesome race for Josh Stevens. Chase Galvin coming around in that number four spot. He was coming on hard there at the end. We're in the 16-4-5-4. What a B-Mod feature. And what a win for the number 99 of Brad Smith. Someone jumped the start. We've got an issue with the seven out there. The seven out of Lee, Lee Lingo stopped in. Uh, Brady Black and Taylor Walton get into it on the front stretch. We're going to make sure everything's going on with uh, Taylor Walton here. Taylor Walton's out of the car and okay. Give him a big round of applause, guys. Casey Baker out front with J.D. Black in second, brother Cody in third. Forbes in third, the number 95. And here they come around, Cody and Casey Baker out front. J.D. Black going around the outside. He looks like he's going to get around both of them. The other flag is out, though. Casey, they're both going to go down low. J.D. gets around. 
Casey Baker coming on the front straight. JD stick with that high line. Cody Baker going to stick with that high line too. Going to start following JD around it, leaving his sister down low. And and now he's going to duck behind her. And here they come out of three and four. Green flag flies. J.D. Black out front. Casey Baker in second. Cody Baker in third. Robert Bell in fourth. Chad Ty in fourth. J.D. starting to pull out just a little bit. Cody going up high around his sister Casey. Around three and four. Coming down the fifth straight. Heading into three and four. Casey in the number nine. Cody in the number 38. J.D. Black out front in the seven J.R. Starting to get some clear running going on. Still running in that four spot. Chad Ty running in fourth. Eight eight back in the seven JR starting to pull out a big gap there around the 14, 8, 7, 8. Fastest lap of the night. Casey's, Casey Baker. Was a off of brother Cody, but it looks like Cody may get around her coming into one two. He's going to go up high. And his sister's going to go down low, and it looks like Cody's going to complete the pass. The flag is going to come out, but Cody Baker, Baker makes the pass on Casey before the flag comes out. Flag is out. Seven JR. JD Black out front. Cody Baker going to go down low. The sister Casey in second. Ball running in that four spot. Starting to push some pressure on him. And Cody Baker coming down underneath JD Black. Coming on a three and four. And he's going to make the pass. JD's put in a lot of laps around this track. Maybe sit back and watch Cody's lines for a little bit, but Cody has put in a lot of laps as well, that's for sure. Casey in that number nine, and third, Chad Ty looking to make a move on Bell in that number four spot. Starting to pull out a little bit of breathing room, 10 laps down. New sprint car feature, JD starting to go down low. Oh, he's going to get a little loose there. That's going to put Casey right up on him. It's going to let Cody pull out quite a bit. And coming around the outside, though, we've got the number 95 of Rick Forbes making his way through. He's going to get around Ty and putting his sights on Bell now, too, heading around the back stretch. Casey Baker putting a lot of pressure on J.D. Black in that 7JR. She's going around on the inside of him. It looks like she may get the pass completed, but out front with no problems at all. That's the 38 of Cody Baker. He's out front in Holland. He's starting to pull away from Casey Baker just a little bit. Bell still in that number four spot. The man on the move, though, is the 95, Rick Forbes. And the black 9-5 heading around high in three and four. Putting pressure on Bell and Baker now. Fifteen laps down in your Valley Sprint Car feature here. Cody ba Cody Baker running a 15 0 
J.D. Black dropped it down to a 14 a few laps ago, but he ain't nowhere near that now. Casey Baker's all over him with Bell and Chad Ty and the 95 getting loose up into the wall there. Black, Baker, Bell, and Ty. It's going to be a close race for that number two spot. But Cody Baker pulling away, running away with this one. JD trying to hold off his sister Casey. Bell in third. Ty in fifth in the 88. And there's your winner, the number 38, Cody Baker. Eddie Black in the 7 GR are going to hold on for second. Casey Baker going to hold on for third. Bell is going to take home fourth. And Chad Ty in that yellow 88 is going to take home fifth spot. That's your Valley Sprint feature. Anybody else want the picture? And I want this one. I want to get, get, get one of him and okay. then I want to get it. All right. Now Mike and I want to get it. Okay. Demon race lineup is going to be like this. The number 121 of Eric Schmidt out of Independence. The 53 of Austin King. The number 8 of Rocky Rhodes. Out of Independence, Missouri. The number 1, J of Jessica Lane. The number 15, XL of Robert Logering out of Lisa, Missouri. Number 5 of DJ Barnes. The number 8, C of Cammie Bruner. 12X of Callaway Schmidt. The 121 of Eric Schmidt. Number 53, Boston King out front out of Lone Jack, Missouri. The four and the eight of Box in Rocky Roads getting into it, coming out of one and two. Rhodes in the eight and the four having a little bit of a battle going on out there playing some cat and mouse and that's allowing the 15x to make his way up making this a three driver battle as they head into the back stretch but it's still box holding out Rhodes.
Nine laps down in your Dirt Demon feature here. Out front, Austin King in the 53, running the 18-1-2-3 with the 4B of Brandon Box. Alan Anders moving his way up to that third spot with Rocky Road slipping away just a little bit. In that number four spot. Last man on the track right now, though, is Brandon Boxer in a 17-9-3-3. Scratch that. Alan Anders dropping it down to a 15, I'm sorry, a 17574. Green flag is out. Austin King out front in that 53. Brandon Box in second. Alan Anders in third, Rocky Rhodes in fourth, Eric Schmidt coming back to that number five spot after being pushed back, and he's going to get around Rocky Rhodes too, going around high, pulling up behind the 15. We got a four driver race here with the 53, the four, the 15, and Schmidt coming back. The high flag is out. The <laughs> high flag is out. Here comes the 53 and the three and four. Box in second, the 15th and third. Checkered flag's gonna fly though for the 53 of Austin King taking home the victory in your Dirt Demon feature. Thank you. 